Welcome to Keeping Up with me, Christina. And me, J.J. Jones. That's right, J.J. Jones. What, what? J.J. Jones. Uh, uh. You're so 2000 and late. Boom, boom, boom. Let me get like that. that. Boom, boom, boom. Please don't expire us. Expire us? We die? Oh, YouTube. oh. oh yes. And expire us. Yes. That's a little too close. Um, well, we talk about all things sumo and everything in between. Yeah, like real, like this is about us. This is keeping up with us. Our last name is Jones, right? Right, but sometimes it's sumo, sometimes it's other stuff. This is us. Now, speaking of us, don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that notification. Nice. You can put a visual there. Now nice. smash the notification. Smash that notification. How yeah. about you just tap? Yeah. Tap in on the notification. Yeah. Just. We we tap have it. metrics that we would like to hit at some point. Tap it. You know. Or Massage the that, notification. Yeah, just a little Ask bit. Ask the notification. Do you want to go out to dinner on Saturday night? Yeah. The notification is gonna then, say yes. And then get that underhook. And then get your Uwatanage. All right. All right. Now, now that this wackiness is out of the way, um, we're going to talk about the SoCal Open, mm -hmm. the 2024 or SoCal Open number two. SoCal Sumo Open. Yes, yes. Which I'm super, super excited about. We ended up getting a brand new venue for this one. Yeah. We're still in City Heights, the heart and soul of San Diego, in my opinion, my opinion, right? Um, we are at the Performance Annex. The Performance Annex is connected to the City Heights Library. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's right in the heart and soul of City Heights, which is the heart and soul of San Diego. So it's like, like a like a little Russian doll of of souls. It's like soul, soul, souls. Um, really dope. Our uh, goal with uh, each uh, SoCal Sumo Open right is to honor the uh, Japanese community and their amazing uh, uh, contributions, gifts in uh, the area of martial arts as, as we know it. Um, February twenty fourth. That's the time when um, uh, when uh, when people take time to honor all, all the lives lost and the lives torn up and messed up by um, Japanese folks being placed in internment camps, terrible. Um, and we honor that like uh, that beautiful resilience that the Japanese community has and continues to have. Um, uh, a wild fact, um, while Japanese folks were incarcerated in internment camps, they still were doing sumo tournaments. And then when they were released from the internment camps, um, it then became, you know, uh, uh, cops and stuff would try to break up anytime Japanese folks got together to uh, to do sumo uh, or to do any martial art. So um, so yeah, this is our our, our love letter to the Japanese community, um, uh, past, present, and future. And, um, and you know, this is the the uh, only the first tournament that's been organized by Black folks in, in San Diego for sumo. So um, you know, you already know over here, uh, Black and uh, and Asian solidarity is strong and what we live every day. So um, so yeah, love you guys. Yeah, um, and the, there's a there's a lot going on, right? So this particular tournament for us is huge because this is part of our big um, uh, push into the community, right? So it's not just sumo. This is a, a full connection yeah. of of the city. And because it's the full connection of the city, we're able to provide this free to the city. Free for spectators, um, yeah. So all spectators are free. Any teens and children will be able to compete free. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly free, 
it's mostly free. Adults <laughs> do need do need to pay. Um, that was my dog sneezing. <laughs> oh my! On oh, your hand. hand. Um. <laughs> Aki, go to your bed. I feel like this is Jurassic Park or something like that. Go to your bed. I'm keeping this in. We have to. I have to keep this in. Lay down. Thank you. All right. Now we're done with dog sneezing. So, and <laughs> so also because like JJ talked about our commitment to community um to to be a vendor uh is free Jay and I we know how it is to pay some exuberant vendors fee you show up like nobody's there you don't like you're like what so you know uh because this is our uh our first time at this location uh, we want community to feel welcomed. If you, you know, we want them to feel welcome to come, set up shop, and, and let the community know about what they're doing and what they're up to. So it's free to vend. Um, and if you want to be a sponsor, right, uh, this is an event being held by uh, me and JJ's nonprofit, Maximum Effort Foundation, which is fiscally sponsored by March for Black Women San Diego, which is a 501c3. So any contributions are tax deductible. So we're uh, offering sponsors to participate at the 1,000, 500, 250, $100 levels. Uh, yeah, um, I have a really, really, really good friend, we do, named Justin Kizzer. Woo! Justin! Justin Kizzer, um, he, go to your bed. Our dog is Our gradually dog. sneaking yeah. off their bed. Yeah. Um, Justin Kizar, <laughs> this is a disaster. I, <laughs> uh, Justin Kizar, uh, hook, hook this up. Wow, I'm also butchering your last name. I'm sorry, brother. Justin, uh, we have the same government name. This is crazy. <laughs> um, Justin uh, informed us where to get the best medals in all of Sumo. So we definitely, when we were in Japan, got those medals. Uh, they're similar, not the same. So it's kind of like, gotta catch them all. And so you have to go to the Consulates Cup to see how he raises the bar even more uh, in 2024, right? Um, the medals are going to be extremely special, especially Ooh, say. the open weights. The Ooh. open weight, First and second, or first in uh, men and women's is, whew, let me tell you something. It's gonna look magical. Oh, it does. Yeah, it's real magical. Like, you are going to want to carry this on the plane. You do not want to check this because it might be a little fragile. It's so beautiful, you know Come what I'm on, saying? Gigi, don't give too much. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, just know it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, and on top of that, we're going to end up doing special prizes. And me and Mankin, I, I, I don't think Christina was in this conversation, but we really wanted to dial in and make sure that the special prizes were similar to the special prizes you would get from sumo tournaments mm -hmm. in Japan. Mm -hmm. So I love that. everything's going to be rice based. And I know that some of us do not drink alcohol, so sake isn't the only thing that you can make from rice. That's so sweet. we're looking into local vendors, local San Diego vendors, and we're trying to come up with some really special prizes for the special prizes. <laughs> That's gonna be so freaking special, Uncle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm really excited, right? I'm really excited. And this is the second one for many to come, the future is bright. Heck yeah, it is. 2024, here we come. Here we come. I will see you guys at the SoCal Open. Also, um, the location is going to be in the description. Um, we're going to also leave a link for the, um, uh, the nonprofit, mm -hmm. the, um, uh, uh, Maximum Effort Foundation mm -hmm. um, and everything else. 
yeah and if um also make sure to follow our instagram uh so you can see our daily countdown i don't remember how many days we're out now from it but it's a countdown and uh and you know for my music heads out there uh if you can check out like what the beat or what the song is and then try to anticipate what the next day song is yeah. i'm having so much fun we uh yeah yeah just that, so yeah. much fun there, there's a there's a method to the madness yeah, yeah and once you realize what it is you're like okay and it's fun to see if you can figure out what the next day is going to be right and if you can figure it out go ahead and just drop it in the comments and you'll see if you're right you'll see if you're right uh she has like it's a beautiful mind setup going on here <laughs> big chocolate it's so fun it's so fun um also down for uh like other like music i should be putting in to to like um uh, get get other people's music music minds going and for and for folks who aren't music heads it's a a, a really good lesson yeah. all right we'll see y'all at socal open yeah Bye. Peace.